Hi guys, I'm Lungi Mkize. I'm from Aristella, I'm in grade 12. I'm doing this video just to give you guys a little bit of prep and a journey on how I got prepared for my MBTs. At the moment, I know that the NBT is a test that I have to do in order to enter into university. It's a very hard test. <laughs> um, there are no calculators allowed. Every student has to do it in order to do engineering, uh, medicine, and all those pretty hectic um, subjects. The first time I heard of Advantage Learn was from my friend, because she had come back from doing the course in person. I'm feeling more confident already and I haven't even started the, the course because I know that with the course that I'm going to get the most experience out of it and that when I come to the test I'll be as prepared as I can be. Okay so today I went to my first NBT in person course and um, okay, at start I was very scared because I didn't know what to expect. I kind of found it a bit difficult at the first, at, at start, because um, I wasn't really familiar with the way the questions were asked. But as Trish was going on, she kept um, emphasizing on how to break down your questions and do each thing bit by bit. And the formulas that she gave us were amazing. And I think if I definitely went into the NBT without any of this assistance, I would, I would fail, <laughs> definitely. But <laughs> with this help from Trish and the NBT course, I definitely can say above 60%, hopefully 70 Yes, I will get it. <laughs> Day two of the NBT in-person course was, I found was much, much better. Um, I was more prepared, I knew what I was coming to do. The course was in all amazing. The tips and tricks that Trish gave us were amazing. I wish I could take each and every one of them and just use them at school all the time. Um, so yeah, I learned a lot. I'm much more confident, I really am. I feel like I can write the NBT now with a 75% pass, not a 35 anymore. So that's pretty good. And yeah, I really loved it. So I am writing my NBT in a month. <laughs> it's really scary. And I am a bit concerned that I am gonna forget a few things, but I have taken down notes and um, Trish gives you her, and her notebook that she has written down all the tricks that she does teach you. And I'm also going to be completing the online course. So that's going to be like reminding me how to do the things. And yeah, so I, I, I don't think I'll be that bad. <laughs> I don't think I'll remember some of the things. <laughs> Last weekend, I wrote my NBTs on the 27th of August. Oh my gosh, what a day. Everyone there was flipping books and trying to remember formulas and everyone was talking, okay, what do I do? Oh my gosh, um, I didn't check this one. Did you check this one? And everyone was just so stressful, but I remained calm, okay? Because I had to. And I also had the NBT prep, so that was really nice. We started with their um, Q, the AL, the academic literacy. It went okay because I practiced on the online. I just did like about two, three videos before um, uh, I did the test. And then we did the quantitative literacy. When we came out, literally everyone was like, oh my word, if that was academic, I could just imagine what maths is. I would have died. And I was like, okay, no, it just calmed down. Lungs. It was a little bit bad, but it wasn't so bad. And you've done practice for maths, so don't be stressed. The, the type of question that they ask, you have to really have learned how to um, work out and really adapt yourself to the question before you can do it. Because in class, the, the things that we learn are nothing like the test. I, I, I actually thought that being at an IB 
and doing the MBT would be like kind of similar but it really was, it, it was, but not to that extent where you can be comfortable if you go to an IB school and you can just go do the MBTs. You have to have practice. I don't think I could have prepared by myself. I would have done past papers, IB papers, which aren't the same as MBT at all. Um, I also, I was looking at my friends, they were trying to prepare, they didn't have the course. Um, and they basically went through papers that we've did, we've done um, at the beginning of the year and past papers for IB, like final papers, and it didn't really help them. I told them like you're not going to get questions like that. And then like some of them, I showed them the the um, notebook that Trish gave us, the academic, the advanced learn um, booklet, and they were like, oh my gosh. Like, what our practice and what you're giving me is totally different. And I was like, yeah, that's how you get asked. And they were like, okay. So then um, I helped some of them with the booklet and that was, that was nice. Firstly, I would like to say that um, MBTs aren't as bad as what they as what people make them sound like. Like they're not terrible. Okay, that comes with preparation, a lot of preparation. To be quite honest, <laughs> um, the 75 that I hoped I would get, maybe it could drop to maybe a 70 or a <laughs> 65. But um, it was a hard test, I must admit. But um, I'm keeping my hopes up and hoping for a 70. Okay, hi guys. Um, uh, thank you so much for um, following me with my journey to writing my MBTs. I hope that some of my insights have really helped you and prepared for, you for your journey to write the MBTs. And yeah, I wish you all the best. Good luck and I'm Nungile Kize. Bye!